This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the winter edition of Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We are so happy that you can join us. We have four tough teams that you are going to see play in this show. You're going to see Ada take on Delphi St. John's, and a little bit later, Pandora Gilboa will face off against Allen East. All right, we have our first round, and we will introduce you to our players, though, before we get to those questions. Joining us from Ada, we have Noah Pinckney. Alex Hertig, Terry Sheridan, and Austin Ambergie. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome back. All right, joining us from Delphi St. John's, we have Caroline Kopak, Zach Heron, Curtis Mueller, and Adam Gerker. And Delphi is coached by Michelle Stiffy and Kim Honigford. Welcome back to all of you. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. All up for grabs, we're 10 points apiece. Please speak up with your answers. Make them as complete as possible. We have our judge here with us, Mark Dickman, and if we have any questions, we will refer them to him. Is everybody ready? All right, here we go. Question number one. Which presidential candidate promoted the new frontier? Yes, that would be Delphus. Um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is incorrect. So Ada, you've got a chance with this. Yes. Jackson. That is also incorrect. J.F. Kennedy is the answer. All right, two. What artist painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Ada. Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci is correct. Number three. Insects in the order of Diptera have two of what? Yes, Delphus. Sets of wings. Wings is the answer. All right, question number four in this game. About how much does the human brain, yes, Ada? Uh, three pounds. Three pounds is the correct answer. All right, question five. What scholarship has been sending American students to Oxford University since 1904? Yes, that would be Ada. Fulbright? That is incorrect. Delphus, you want to try? All right, the answer is the Rhodes Scholarship. All right, question number six. At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit equal? Yes, Ada? Minus 40. Minus 40 is the answer. All right, question number seven. According to mythology, who had snakes for hair? Yes, that would be Delphus St. John's. Medusa. Medusa is correct. In 1982, the World's Fair was held in what? Yes, Ada. Chicago. Chicago is incorrect. Delphus, you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. All right. In 1982, the World's Fair was held in what Tennessee city? Yes. Memphis? That is incorrect. It is Knoxville. All right. Question number nine in your first round. What is the study of weather called? Yes, Delphus? Meteorology. Meteorology is correct. And here's your final question in this first round. Dickinson College and Bryn Mawr are in what state? Yes, Ada? Connecticut. Connecticut is incorrect, so we can turn it over to Delphus. Yes. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is also incorrect. Pennsylvania is the answer there. All right, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score, and we do have a tie. No surprise in this season. We have um, Ada and Delphi St. John both with 30 points. We'll be back with our second and third rounds right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. 
roadstate.edu. And by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Our score is tied between Delphi St. John's and Ada, both teams with 30 points and a coin toss. We have decided that Delphi St. John's, you will lead this round. This is five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but we need you to buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, at which joint does the tibia and femur meet the patella? Yes. Kneecap. Will we accept that answer? Yes, we will. The knee is correct. All right, question two. In what Poe story was there a terrifically wide sweep of an object? Yes, Delphus? The raven. The raven is incorrect. The answer is the pit and the pendulum. All right, question three. Which country has the longest land border? Yes, Delphus. Russia? Russia is incorrect. The answer is China. All right, two questions remaining here. The art of paper folding is known as what? Yes. Origami. Origami is correct. And here's your final question in the second round. Name the branch of science that is the study of movement of waves through the earth. Yes. Seismology. Seismology is correct. Okay, Ada, are you ready for your five? All right, please buzz in with your answer. What German port city houses the Hagenbeck Zoo? Yes. Hamburg. Hamburg is correct. All right. Should I say good guess? All right, question number two. Who bit Evander Holerfield's ear off in a boxing match in 1997? Mike Tyson, go ahead. Yes. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is Love correct. Is All right. What is the oldest university in Ohio? Ooh, probably OU. Oh, is it OU? It's Ohio, Ohio University. Yeah, okay. Yes. Ohio University. Ohio University nice. is correct. <laughs> All right, question four. Published after her death, what did teenager Anne Frank leave behind? The diary of Anne Frank. What did we say? Yes. The diary of Anne Frank? Diary is correct. <laughs> and here's your final question in round two. What island does the Statue of Liberty stand oh, on? No. Liberty <laughs> Island. Liberty Island is the answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've come to the end of our second round. Here's our score. After a lot of chatter over here, um, we have Ada with 55 points, Delphi St. John's with 45. We are entering our final round. 10 questions again, all worth 10 points apiece, up for grabs. Everybody get ready with those buzzers, and it's extremely important that you speak up with your answers, okay? All right. Name the biblical physician that is a Gentile contributor to scripture. Yes, Delphus. Philip? Philip is incorrect. Ada, do you want to try it? Yeah, just say name. Mark? Mark is also incorrect. Luke is the answer. How many paintings did Vincent van Gogh sell during his lifetime? Yes. One? One is correct. Nice. Question number three. Three witches appear in what Shakespeare play? Yes, Delphus. Macbeth. Macbeth is correct. All right, number four. What aviator was nicknamed the Lone Eagle? Delphus. Lindenberg. That is incorrect. Ada, do you want to try? <laughs> Try the lady. Yes. Um, Amelia Earhart. Yeah. Amelia Earhart is also incorrect. The answer we're looking for, Charles Lindbergh. All right, question number five. 
What does the first A stand for in NASA? Yes, Ada. Aeronautics. Aeronautics is the answer. All right, number six in this game. The U.S. invasion of the Bay of Pigs was an attempt to overthrow which country? Yes, Ada. Cuba. Cuba mm -hmm. is correct. All right, there are four questions remaining in this game between Delphi St. John's and Ada. What state has the nickname Lone Star State? Yes, Texas. Ada. Texas. Texas is correct. What is the largest city to connect two continents? Yes, Ada. Panama City. Panama is incorrect. Delphi St. John's, you want to try it? All right, time is up. The answer is Istanbul. All right, two questions remain in your game. Everybody ready? How many years are in a score? Ada? 20. 20 is correct. And here is the final question in your game. What is a meteor called when it reaches the Earth's surface? Yes, Ada. Meteorite. Meteorite is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Ada and Delphus St. John's. Here is the score. Delphus, 55 points. Ada, congratulations. You're moving on with 115 points. We want to thank you for joining us. We will see you again in the season. We'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we just wrapped up a great game between Ada and Delphi St. John's, and we know now that Ada will be moving on to the semifinals. We're going to find out who they will be competing against as we begin this game. Allen East against Pandora Gilboa. Let's introduce you to the players. Joining us from Pandora, we have Carrie Burkhart, Nick Norton, Brooke Meyer, and Jacob Suter. And Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Allen East. We have Tim Dunn, Mason Duvernay, Dalen Foster, and Derek Kohlinger. And Allen East is coached by Clay Casey. Welcome back to all of you. All right, you know the drill. We have 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece in this first round. Again, I know I say it all the time, but it's so important that you speak up with your answers, okay, and make them as complete as possible. So let's go with question number one, first round. Approximately 2% of all people have what eye color? Pandora. Blue. Blue is incorrect. Alan East, do you want to try it? Yes. Green. Green is correct. In which state was George Washington born? Yes, Ellen East. Virginia. Virginia is correct. What was the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame? Quasimodo. Quasimodo is correct. Give the French term meaning a road closed off at one end. Time is up. The answer is cul-de-sac. All right, question number five. Who was awarded the first United States patent for the telephone? Yes, Pandora. Alexander Graham Bell. You are correct. All right, moving on to question number six now. What singer is known as the man in black? Yes, Ellen East. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is correct. How many pairs of chromosomes are found in the average human? Ellen East. 23. 23 is the correct answer. All right, three questions remaining in round one. What is the medical term for low blood sugar? 
hypoglycemic? We will accept that answer. Hypoglycemia is correct. Question number nine in the first round. What type of vehicles were Zeppelins? Yes, Pandora. Blimps. Blimps is incorrect. Elanise, do you want to try it? Yes. Dirigibles. Dirigibles is correct. And your final question in round one. What is the largest three-digit prime number? We cannot accept the answer over here. The buzzer rang first. The correct answer is 997. All right, we've come to the end of our first round, and here is a score. Pandora, you have 30 points. Alan East, you have 50. That means, Alan East, you're going to lead the second round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours. Please ring in with your answers. What is Jesse James' brother or partner in crime's name? All right, time is up. The answer is Frank James. Question number two. What Tennessee native served as a congressman before dying at the Alamo? Yes. Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett is correct. The song Sunrise Sunset was from what 1964 musical? Yes. The Sound of Music. Sound of Music is incorrect. It is Fiddler on the Roof. All right, question number four in the second round. What is the name for a protein that acts as a biological catalyst? Yes. Enzyme. Enzyme is correct. And you have one question remaining here. Who was the first president to attain a pilot's license attained during World War II? Yes. Harry Truman. Harry Truman is incorrect. It is Dwight Eisenhower. Okay, Pandora Gilboa, it's your turn now for your five questions. Please buzz in. What I word means a servant bound to labor for a certain term of years? Yes. Indentured servant. Indentured is correct. What is the largest internal organ in the human body? Yes, Pandora. Small intestine. That is incorrect. It's the liver. All right, question three. Name the Portuguese explorer who made a round-the-world trip circa 1521. Yes. Magellan. Magellan is correct. All right. Who was the famous ancient Egyptian who went on tour in 2005? Yes, Pandora. Chandra Gupta. That is incorrect. The answer is King Tut. All right, final question in your second round. The phrase, let them eat cake, is commonly attributed to whom? Marie Antoinette. You are correct. All right, we've come to the end of our second round. Here is a score now. It is a close one. Pandora, you have 45 points. Alan East with 60. We'll be back for the final 10 questions right after this break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RoadState.edu and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928.
All right, we've got a game going now between Allen East and Pandora Gilboa. Our score right now, Pandora with 45 points, Allen East with 60. We are entering our final round with 10 questions again, 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Okay, please speak up with the answers. What are the two long, slender, curved bones that support each other, or each shoulder, I should say? Clavicle. Yes, that would be Pandora. Clavicle. Clavicles is correct. Name the cosmetics company whose headquarters are located in Dallas, Texas. Yes, Pandora. Avon. Avon is incorrect. Alan East, do you want to give it a go? All right, the answer is Mary Kay. All right, question number three. Before it was the capital of Alaska, from which product did Juno develop? Yes, Pandora. Coal. Coal. Coal is incorrect. Alan East, you want to try it? Yes. Oil. Oil, also incorrect. The answer is gold. All right, question number four. What is the process that rids food, especially milk, of bacteria? Yes, Pandora. Pasteurization. You are correct. All right, number five in this final round. What state produces 80% of the U.S.'s strawberries? Yes, Ellen East. North Dakota. That is incorrect. Pandora, you want to try? California. California is the correct answer. All right. Question number six. Identify the term of measurement for horses. Yes, Pandora. Hands. Hands is the correct answer. All right, we're down to our final four questions in this game. The Just Do It slogan was created in 1988 for what company? Yes, Ellen East. Nike. Nike is the answer. What is the name of the Michigan city that is also a name for a type of rock? Ellen East? Flint. Flint is correct. Two questions remaining. What general made his army march through Mexico to reach the Alamo? Pandora. And general Lee. That is incorrect, Ellen East. You've got a chance with this one. Yes. General Custer. That is also incorrect. Santa Ana is the answer there. Okay, we're down to our final question in our game. Our score right now, Pandora with 85 points, Allen East with 80. In what year was the Battle of Waterloo fought? Ellen East. 1828. That is incorrect. Pandora, you want to try? Yes. 1867. That is also incorrect. The answer is 1815. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Pandora Gilboa and Ellen East. Pandora, you'll be moving on in competition with 85 points. Alan East, you put up a great fight with 80 points. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations to Pandora. You'll be in our semifinals. Thanks for watching at home. We hope to see you back here next week. Until then, enjoy your week, everyone. Bye-bye.